Hello, we have a beautiful little double masters box here to open up. Oh, uh, this is the most premium thing I've ever opened. Uh, so I'm gonna enjoy the heck out of this. This is Danny. And this is Nick. Uh, Smarter Games Board. So here we go. Um, we got the nice wizard seal on here. So if anything goes awry, that hasn't been busted yet. And we're either going to have a payday or we're going to get a bunch of garbage cards that don't even go in my commander decks. All right, so we do actually have to look at commons and uncommons this time, which makes it a little more fun. I got stuff like Manamorphose. Um, gosh, things are slipping my mind, but uh, things that normally are like six, seven bucks, but of course they're only a few dollars because they just came out. Ooh, these things. There we go. All right. Some thick packaging. So we'll probably do our box toppers for at the end. So we'll save them for last. Or in the middle. Watch the whole thing. Oh, yeah. I guess we could do them in the <laughs> middle to mix things up a bit, couldn't we? All right. What the heck is this? <laughs> guess I haven't watched enough openings yet. We got this big old cardboard sheet. Oh, it just slides. I thought it was going to wrap all the way around. Double masters, double the packaging, right? That's what that means? All right, there's our box topper. Sealed product, not for resale. You hear that? You hear that, internet? Not for resale. All right, we're going to leave that over there. Just, just a little tease. Oh, I always love the way these are displayed. I think I got uneven piles here. Who knows? The thick ones are the good ones, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. You want to take half those ones? Yeah, sure. I think it's half. I'll roughly guesstimate. Okay, you want to start? Oh, well, sure. So here's go through the commons pack. and uncommons slow the first time, but I'll keep an eye out for anything I know is worth a little bit. Those one to three dollar cards can add up. I don't even know what some of these things are. <laughs> I am not a modern player. Springleaf Drum is a good one. We'll set that guy aside. Uh, I don't know if that's the first reprint of Springleaf Drum. All right. And our first rare is Vexing Structure. Great card. And Swift Blade Vindicator. Not as good, but. And our foils are Skin Brand Goblin and uh, Gelatinous Genesis. All right. Set those rares aside, too. So Vexing Shusher, not a bad card, not worth much, but um, more a modern card, I think. It can't be countered, it can make other things uncounterable. Springleaf Drum I actually have thrown in a uh, Joyra EDH deck, because the tapping an untapped creature is not part of the cost. Um, or the creature doesn't have to, so it doesn't affect like Summoning Sickness. Lightning Axe, all right. Icker Wellspring. I'll set that aside just because it's a card I like. Crop Rotation. Mana Echoes. That's a good one. First Mythic, Mana Echoes. Great card. That's actually... It's actually got a little value holding on to it, too. Cathodeon. Fun little card. Got to find a place to use it. But there closer. we go. Yeah. And is it Charm? Squirrel. Okay. <laughs> Here's our next pack. Got to enjoy it. Not every day you get to open up a $300 <laughs> booster box. Ooh, Mishra's Bauble. That's set a set that aside. Side. Oh, yeah. Our mana first reflection. rare is Mana Reflection. That card has not been reprinted almost ever. So it was like 40 bucks going into this, but I'm sure it's way down. And we have a Doomed Necromancer. Ooh, that's our a good foil. Our first foil is a Chromatic Star, and our second one is a Bloodshot Trainee. A Chromatic Star, that's nice. The card sees a lot of play. That is a really pretty foiling, too. All right, next pack. Oh. Um, 
So let us know. Have you opened any packs? Have you gotten any hits? That mana echoes and that mana reflection. Those, that's a really good start. Dark Steel Axe. Culling Days. Um, built a charge counter deck once. I know it's not a great card, but... And we have Merciless Eviction and Well of Ideas. Well of Ideas is interesting. But Merciless Eviction, not a bad card. I don't think there's much value. Foil Ash Barons. I mean, if it's not worth much, I'll be playing it, but... I don't think I've ever seen a Foil Ash Barons before. Again, the foiling on these is really pretty. I don't see any curling, so... For our next pack, we'll go through our commons here. Urza's Mine, that's a set-aside. All those Urza lands. All those Tron players in, in Modern. Welding Jar, that's a set-aside. First rare is a Flooded Grove, Ooh, our yeah, first one of our land. lands. Ooh. And we also have a uh, Weatherlight Captain here. And that's that commander I was talking about. She's got a fun little ability. Our foils are Sift and a Sickle Slicer. Only one mythic so far. Let's we'll see. We get a pack of two here. later, I believe. Oh, it's possible. Heck, even more if we get really lucky. There's this tower. Ooh. Don't want to spoil the foils <laughs> for myself. Might be something amazing back there. Buried ruin. All right, we've got ravenous trap and tempered steel. Now the ravenous trap. I'll be honest. I don't know why the heck that's in here, but. Tempered Steel. Artifact creatures get plus two, plus two. I'm sure someone could do something with that. Maybe with the modular abilities. And a couple of commons. Nothing fancy for the foils in that one. All right. Okay, so next looking pack factors. here. Okay. Three hands on the screen. Looks like an octopus. Another Urza's. All right, we got all three. Let's make the deck. <laughs> oh, wait, that's two mines. Chromatic Star. Right. It's always good for a few quarters. Mirror Smith. And an Ad Ooh, that's a good pull. Rare. And another Mythic. Karn Liberated. That's a Karn. good $40 right there, that guy. Our first foil is a definite, uh, Defiant Salvager, and we have a Rolling Earthquake as foil a rare. foil rare. Oh, that's not... We're going to get more, though. We're gonna get more. At least we hope Stay so. positive. <laughs> Ad nauseum is an amazing competitive commander card. Karn Liberated, that just gets played everywhere. That's gonna go with all those Urza lands. We're doing great. I know you don't know the values as well as I do, but we're doing great. We still this have our early in the packs. Box toppers that oh, yeah. come up eventually here. Fierce Empath. I think that just got a reprint in or the core set for 2021. All right, better an explorer. Lightning Greaves, that's a few bucks. We got Boon Reflection. The reflection cards are neat. I've got to find a way to use them. Austere Command. Austere Command's good. Not a high dollar card. Woo, Foil Power Plant. i keep that one up there. Okay, next pack here. It's always fun to see those cards you don't usually see in foil. I know now we got the premium arts, but... I'm telling you guys, if you get a chance to buy a pack, you're going to like the foiling on these. They are really, really nice compared to previous stuff. Another Urza land. Tower. And a land. What is Bastion? And a Ooh, Thrag Tusk. Thrag Tusk here. And our foils are... Um, Parasitic Strix and a Supernatural Stamina. So that Thrag Tusk. Oh, I don't think that's a Landfall one, actually. No. That's just a value card. There's a... Gosh, I don't even know what I'm thinking of. Um, <laughs> there's a creature that makes tutus for you whenever a land enters. And I should know what it is. I always get it mixed up with Thrag Tusk. That's probably why I don't remember the name. Because I always get it mixed up. 
Dark Steel Citadel, Core Tapper, Oubliette. That's probably the best uncommon in the set. Blood Moon, another great rare, and Ion Storm. I almost want to set that Blood Moon aside. We are getting crazy good luck on our rares. And there's a foil rare, Heartbeat of Spring. Um, gosh, I don't even... The set symbol's like the little arch thing for the original Heartbeat of Spring. I don't even remember the name of it, but I've never seen that in foil either. Again, I love seeing so some I of these older think cards. we're at our halfway point. Do you want to open... Crack it open, yeah. Okay. You want to do the honors? I think I did the last one. All right. For our Ikoria box. I hope they're upside down this way, because if they are, I'm handing you one upside down. Okay. And we'll take our sweet, sweet, tasty time. Um, is that upside down? That's upside down. You know, I think it's just the inside of the pack, but I saw a lot of blue reflections. And blue is where we can make our most money from this, so I'm hopeful. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, one upside down for Nick. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one go. Shoo! So you did see a blue, but it was Academy Ruins. Toxic Deluge, great card. Academy Ruins as well. Neither of these are anything to complain about. Toxic Deluge, the foil of this is the sickest looking thing in the world. Um, that art, it, it doesn't look that great non-foil, honestly, but Academy Ruins gets played all over the place. Putting a target artifact card from your graveyard on top of your library. That would have been uh, nice to have a different uh, blue card there, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the blue I saw. I was hoping it wasn't a land. <laughs> Still, not bad, not bad. We could have done worse in those spots. Okay, I'll open my next pack here. Come on, let's get some Mana Crypt or a Force of Will, Dark Confidant. That, is that good or no? Well, it's not worth anything in okay. that form. Yes, it's good, but there's another Urza Land. And here we go. A Ratchet Bomb um, and a Mask, Sir Transmuter, Magnifying Glass, and an Urza's Mine. So we got two of the Urza Lands foil now. I think we got a foil Power Plant and a foil Mine. See if we can complete the trio. Let me find that other one. Yeah, foil power plant and foil mine. So that's neat. I think we're doing pretty good in the fo uh, foil slots, honestly. Hopefully we can get a pack with two mythics here. We only <laughs> got two so far. Yeah. You know, I think we're due for at least another two. I don't know what the average is. I haven't been watching a lot of openings, but... Surge node. I play that card in a silly little charge counter tribal uncommons. There's a lightning greaves again. It's a set aside card. There's another land, firelit thicket, red green one, and yes, rolling earth. We got a we, foil. Yeah, we got a foil of that one. You know those lands are good for a few bucks a piece. Fortify and bloodbriar. Again, nothing to talk about in the foils for that pack. It would be cool to get a, a foil mythic as well. Urza's power plant. And the flowing chalice, that's a set aside. Manamorphos. Mistress Factory is worth it too. I'm not. Dual caster mage and master yeah. of Ethereum. And then a bone picker and a. And breaks. Master Transmuter and Master of Ethereum. I don't know what Master of Ethereum does actually. Oh, yeah, I do. I've seen that before. Just not a standout card for me, I guess. One of my friends called this Artifact Masters, and I kind of agree with them. <laughs> So much stuff that plays with artifacts. Revoke Existence. Nice little copy of Naturalize. There's Mishra's Bauble and Manamorphos. Oh, if that was an Oubliette, that was going to be the best uncommon pack we could have hit. Fulminator Mage. It's a good card. Not a ton of value. And Maze of Ith. That one does have a little bit behind it. Maze of Ith's a great card. Just remove something from combat? Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll open our next pack here. I don't know why I'm setting all these tokens aside. 
They're not the fancy ones like in the VIPs. First rare Nova. is a Leviathan, and then an Endless Atlas. Ah, nothing special there. Lightning Axe and Death Cobra for the Hollows. Right, I think we're getting down to about a third. Yeah, nowhere near upset with our pulls though. Pyroid Spellbomb. Thafter Engineer. Ooh, Mox Opal. That's There's good another, one. another forty dollar Mythic. And Jace, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Ooh, that's a good pack. There's our, there's our double mythic pack. Right? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Imagine if you opened one pack and that was your pack. <laughs> that's what you play the silly game for. Is sometimes that happens. And those are good foils. Pyrite oh, yeah. Spellbomb's yeah. good. Mistress Factory's good. What a, what a freaking that's pack. A good pack. <laughs> so you doubled your our mythics in one pack. <laughs> Citadel. Another mythic, a Karthus Tyrant of Jun. Now that's one of the unfortunate <laughs> ones. An Academy Ruins. Oh, that's good though. Uh, for our rare. And then two foils, a fencing ace, and a golem artesian. You know what we're gonna we're gonna put Karthus under the other mythics, because uh, <laughs> I don't want to look at him. <laughs> Although we can't really complain after the pack. Oh, no, not the, at all. With the Mox and the Jace. So. Uh, Karthus just got printed as a foil in Mystery Boosters, so I thought it was a really weird choice to put him right back in here, because you don't need that many Karthus. <laughs> Big legends like that, I don't think you'd ever, under any circumstances, run more than two of one of them in your deck. Unless it's like Uro or something. Another chalice. Don't know if those are worth anything, but I think they're 75 cents, maybe a buck. Basalt monolith, that's for sure good. Thirst for knowledge, kind of, too. Time sieve. And duplicate. Duplicate gets played a lot. Um, I don't know what it's worth, but I don't actually have one of those yet. Driver of the Dead and Cowork Assembler. Okay, there's our next pack. Haven't seen a foil mythic yet. Again, can't complain, but. Path to Exile. Exile. That's a yeah. good one. A stone, a stone hewer giant and a geese of St. Trap. Ah, yeah, another, another bummer mythic to get. And then two foil commerce. Geist of St. Trapped, I think, was great when it was in Standard, because you get free Angels out of it, and he's only a three-mana creature himself. So if you could protect him when he's fighting. We're at the uh, six. Uh, four of them were uh, good, so we can't really be... That's, that's good odds, though. Mm -hmm. And more than just good. We got a couple big hits. Expedition map. I actually need one of those. Maybe we'll get a second. Treasure Keeper, Avenus Intruder, Joyous Familiar, Woo, Pure Steel Paladin, Archangel of Thune. That's that's a good one. Another Mythic. <laughs> what the? That's actually a good one. Um, I know it's gone down a little, little bit since all this started. <laughs> and a Foil Expedition map. Oh, you got I'm your Just wish. talking about it. Okay, I think we got four more packs left. That's one sixth of the box. Now, if we follow our odds, we should get one more Mythic out of these, then. Right? Math. A foil <laughs> one would be amazing. We're on to the Uncommons. Two, three. Not a bad card. Scepter. Big combo winner card. And a Ship Navigator. Remember the Fallen. 
and accomplish automation. That isochron scepter is good. Probably not worth the price of the pack itself, but. Definitely, maybe a $10 or more rare. All right, we're coming down to the end. Pongify, you know, it's not worth much. It's good trade bait. Commander players love it. <laughs> Imperial Recruiter, that's a big hit mythic again. Big mythic. Yeah. And Conjurer's Closet, not worth much, but that's an awesome card. Um, Commander, getting your ooh, Springleaf Drum Foil. So I think we need to get our eight mythic to with it now. <laughs> yeah. That's a good box. What the heck? <laughs> Two more packs left. Yeah, I think that that I don't think we can beat the pack that you opened with the Opal <laughs> and the uh, well, unless uh, there were more mythics in it. I don't know if that would have been possible. <laughs> Braids and Crosswreck Priest. Priest, Goblin Graveler, and a Supernatural Stamina. Gosh, I didn't even know that card was in here. I don't even know what it is. Insect Shaman. Huh. Braids is funny. Letting people put stuff into play for free. You gotta be pretty ballsy to play that in Commander. Okay, last pack, good luck. Cast down. Chromatic Star, we'll set that aside. We're doing pretty good on our commons, uncommons. Fatal Push is another good one. Flicker Wisp is another good one. Here we go, Sword of the Meek, that's got some value. And Council's Judgment. Ready, ready? Oh, it was a foil artifact. I just wanted to <laughs> just wanted to see if we could do something silly. Get a foil mana crypt in the last pack. I'm not that crazy. Okay. Sword of the Meek, though, another hit rare. Just to recap our mythics, we had an Imperial Recruiter. Good card. An Arching Shothun. Good card. Mox Opal. Good card. A Chase. Great card. A Karn. Great card. Mana Echoes. Pretty good card. And then and... Beast Duel. <laughs> And then Box Toppers, Toxic Deluge, and Academy Ruins. Rares, we actually did pretty nice. Sword of the Meek, Isochron Scepter, pull out anything I think is worth something here. Academy Ruins, Fulminator Mage just got a little bit, Maze of Ith. Of course I'll pull out all those lands. They're all worth a little bit. Blood Moon's great. There's another Wooded Bastion. Ad Nauseum's great. <laughs> Flooded Grove. Mana Reflection's great. Vexing Shusher's pretty good. So we got... As far as rares go, I think we did a pretty good job. <laughs> These are all the cards I would consider decent. Alright, thanks for joining us for this. Uh, this is the most premium thing either of us has ever opened, so... Sorry if we took our sweet time, but we gotta enjoy it, right? Magic's for the fun, not the money. I don't think I had a single one of these mythics we pulled. So, you know, if we decide to make more decks, if we decide to play some commander, uh, this this set seems to be great for it. And modern, of course. But All right. Thank you. See ya.